Okay, so here we can see the temperature, and I'm going to maybe grab this PT500 from the other inoculation point, and let's see what happens. Oh, my, it would appear that I'm alive. Yep. Okay, so that's the temperature of the output water. Not the warmest part of the body, the hands, but we'll see if I'm at human temperatures. Okay, well, you could see it was moving. It resets the display every now and again. Uh, there's nothing, nothing, not much going on. So, let's get to the... Uh, okay, that's that temperature. Right, this might be the input temperature, so I'm going to blow on the uh, non-return valve and we'll see if this goes up. So, oh, got all lightheaded, but you can see that the temperature went up on the uh, input uh, inoculation point. So, I'm going to try and find the meters cubed. There we go. So, this is the meters cubed, and uh, I'm going to blow again on the uh, non return valve. And in theory, we should see this uh, thousandth of a meter go up there. Wow, makes her really lightheaded. Takes a bit of time to spin down, uh, as there's no water in there. Um, you know, it's fairly free flowing, and uh, it must have been just on the cusp uh, as we, as I started doing that. So, let it sit there for a while. It says I think it's a. 0 0.02 or something, 0 0.002 uh, meter cubed accuracy. Let it sit there. Yeah, let it sit there. It's probably going to turn the display off in a little while. Okay, I'm going to try and blow on it again. Oh, there we go, lightheadedness. So there we go, temperature of input inoculation, output inoculation, and the meters cubed. And from that, it calculates the uh, megawatt hours uh, that it's producing. So here it's got the um, sort of average rate here, meters cubed per hour. And so you can see this is now dropping down. Uh, this is probably the kilowatts, obviously, there's no no temperature differential, essentially none for any sensible amount of time. So it's saying there's 
no kilowatts being produced uh, or passed through and I think that's the output temperature uh, let's check that's the output temperature is it going down or up uh, I think that's the output temperature yeah it's going up now it's in my hand and next one is the input temperature so that is the census watt thermal meter.